Hey guys, Thunder E here, back on the Big Island, Kona, Hawaii Tech Summit, and this is going to blow your mind. Let's check it out. <laughs> All right, guys, I got to play with the Snapdragon G3X gaming platform. Yes, it looks like a mobile Android gaming platform, and this thing is legit. It was built uh, by Qualcomm with Razer, and it's gonna be, this is a develop kit, which means it's gonna be sent out to developers, and honestly, I cannot wait to see what people can create. But what Razer actually built here is truly awesome. Now, it feels like a portable Nintendo Switch. The controls feel good. The thumbsticks, the D-pad, those real, feel really nice for a developer kit, honestly. And you've got a ton of features built into this that I think a lot of people are truly going to appreciate. So the G3X platform has a five nanometer chipset. We're looking at all day battery life and gaming performance that's really insane. Now, you can play your Android games, that's one. You can stream your PC games directly to this, so you can use any of your services, whether um, for I saw Parsec on there, you can use Steam, whatever you want to do, you can stream it directly to it. It's got remappable controls as well uh, on there, and <laughs> honestly, and plus you've got cloud gaming support. So. How did it actually feel using this? So I played a bunch of games on there. Diablo Immortal was one of the first ones I played. It played great, it played really smooth and fast. And I like the fact that the controls felt really native on there. I wasn't even sure if it was native or remapped, but I didn't have any issues with it whatsoever. Then I played some Final Fantasy and that also played really well. I know that was remapped and the controls felt really, really good. Honestly, as a gamer, this is gonna be impressive. This is going to be a gaming powerhouse. You're gonna see a lot of performance on this. Now, in terms of uh, what it packs in, one of the things I like is that it's got Snapdragon sound, which means you're gonna get lossless audio, Aptex Audio, Aptex AG, all those Aptex features built in it. But what does that mean for us? It means that, look, we're gonna hear footsteps clearly. You're gonna hear those gunshots well. You're gonna hear things around in your game effectively and you're gonna play well. Plus, you can listen to music and enjoy that well on this system. Now, the menu screen that you see there, it's, look, again, this is a developer kit build, but you can see what they're going for, a very streamlined look, being able to access um, everything and the games you want right there in front of you. Uh, the display supports up to 144 hertz, so you choose to have 144 hertz as a developer or you're building a kit like this, it also does that. It's got, you know, um, fast charging up to 120 20 watts. Again, that is something that would be nice for a system like this. Now, they promise all day battery life. And in my use case with this developer kit, I played for about two hours. I probably lost about 10, maybe 15%. Um, that's not just a test, it's just something I experienced. And I like that. And it was great to see that I could play for a long period of time and still have a lot of juice left on this bad boy. Now, it also supports uh, Wi-Fi 6E, which means you've got great connectivity and you can actually access the games you wanna play. So if you're using game streaming services like Xbox Game Pass, you've got just the ability to play and enjoy your games to the fullest, which is the thing that I love to see. And it also has 5G uh, capability, so you've got 5G connectivity. You can take this with you on the go and you can play anywhere. Now, mind you, again, guys, this is a developer kit. This is not an actual unit, but what I've seen here from Qualcomm and Razer, I want this right now. I wanna play games on it. So leave your thoughts, guys. What do you think about the Snapdragon G3X gaming platform? Do you want to see this portable Android PC Windows gaming system altogether? Because honestly, the fact that I can stream my PC games, I can play my Android games natively to the best of the ability of it. And also, um, you know, I can also go on cloud gaming to me, that's gonna be truly awesome. And I can't wait to see what uh, OEMs build and also even what Razer releases if they're gonna actually be doing this as well. So leave your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.